every time you bench press, before you even touch the bar, three simple steps that you must do. Number one, set the rack height. So it needs to be high enough that you can unrack it and start your set comfortably. But most importantly, it needs to be low enough that you can safely rack the bar once you finish your set. Now, remember, a little bit too low is much safer than too high. So, number two, make sure that your grip is balanced. Your left and right hands must be an equal distance from the center of the bar. Use the notch on the bar as a guide. And the last and probably most important thing, you got to set up the safety bar. So not all benches have them, but if your bench press has a safety mechanism, it needs to be set up low enough that you can do your reps without the bar touching it. It needs to be high enough that it will actually save you if you fail and have to dump the weight. Then you've got to test the safety. You don't test it during the, your working sets, you test it in your warm-up sets. Now, sometimes we think things are fine, but they're not. So test it. Make sure you're safe before you start loading weights on. Now, if your bench doesn't have safety bars, that's okay. Uh, but please follow these steps to protect yourself. Now, number one, if you can, get someone to spot you. Uh, if no one's available to spot you, do not use collars. Yeah, I know. Collars prevent weights from slipping off the bar. But if you're benching alone and you fail and you have to dump that bar on your chest, you need those weights to slip off the bar so that you can get out of it safely. Getting stuck under a bar does happen. So, whether you're into rituals or not, make these steps your bench press warm-up ritual and the gods of bench will smile upon you. <laughs>